Okay. Unmarried heir. My son's unmarried. Yes, he is. I'm sorry, son. I mean, you did help. So, <laughs> it's not really like, yeah. It's not like, yeah. Why am I doing that? Oh, he's not with me. He can marry whoever he wants, can't he? Okay. So now we really need to try and help. Oh, I got loads of money. Ooh. Probably should pay back the loan. Maybe. Or maybe we should have a chance at killing him. 34%. It'd go up to about, I guess, 44%. I think it goes up by 10%. When I add the Master of Whispers. Will anyone help me to kill him now? Still only 17%. Okay. If we could get if we could get rid of her, actually. That's the main one. They're winning quite a bit. We're actually beating the Lannisters at the moment. Get rid of her and her Tully kids. Okay, that's not good. Okay. 38%. But a high chance of being found out. 250 gold. We could just try once, I guess. We could try once. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's worth it. In Turnbridge. She's there, is she? Okay. We can send our Master Whispers there. Now, what is it? 46%. Ooh. That's a nice percentage. I mean, it's almost half. But it's 250 gold. That is a lot of gold. We could have a try. If we succeed, obviously, then we got 50-50 chance, basically, of succeeding, almost. I mean, it's not a big deal if I get discovered. I'm dishonorable anyway. But. Damn. We really need to get rid of her. How many men do I got? I got 235 there. 1,700 there. Okay. Another 1,000 there. And they're, just all, they're too spread out. They're not together. Ah, this is annoying. Slightly annoying. Damn her. Damn her to hell. Because also, if we kill her as well. Then these guys, a few of them I could imagine going to our side if we kill her. Because they're sort of general lackeys. You know, you've got Cornfield, you've got Sarsfield, you've got Case, and you've got the Gold Road. So I could imagine all of those coming under line. Now we've got a new Lord, and he's not a tyrant. I could imagine that. The Lannisters won't come under line. But we could use all... If we got the others to join us, we could defeat the Lannisters. I'm going to have to assassinate her. We have to try. We have to try. He's deceitful, though. That's not good. But it's better than nothing. Who's his regent? Maester Illin. Okay. Seems okay. Good learning. Good, good, good learning. Okay, let's do it. Let's give it a go. I'm going to risk it all. Risk it all. Okay. Gonna click it. Oh my god, yes! I'll take that, you bloody Dorna. Joyous news. Dorna died choking on her blood, not knowing the name of her killer. I must make sure the assassins stay silent. Okay, there we go. That could have saved us. Or that could make things worse. Who knows? <laughs> and there we go. Fang F. Fang F. Okay, so we've got armies appearing now. 700, 200. Oop, 1,700. 800. 1,000. 361. So we're starting to get allies to a form. Uh, the Lannisters' armies, though, allies are appearing. Which is bad. They've got a lot of allies from outside of the Westerlands. They've got a lot of influences around the world. But. But. Blueburn, if I can take them down. We need to get Hawthorne. We need to get there. Because they're about to take it and they're going to take our 
Our grandson. We can't let him take our grandson. He's family. Cornfield army? Shouldn't they be on our side? Okay, hopefully we can defeat that army. Ah, your reports from Golden Tooth that his charity work on your behalf is proceeding well. The poor have been fed and your pious standing has improved. Ah, oh, thank God. We definitely need more piety. Definitely need more piety. Okay, we're managing to beat them back. They have lost a lot of men in that fight. We lost quite a few men, definitely. Okay. We managed to relieve Hawthorne, though. Should we try and take... Oh, damn it, they're fighting down there. Why did they get into a fight there? They know they couldn't take them on. 1,000. 1,000. Are they on our side? No. Yeah, they are. Okay. Should I just head to Castley Rock? Because their army's up there. They haven't actually got that many, from what I can see. We could just try and take it. We've got enough men, we could just take it. We've got 2,000 men extra still. Let's go take Let's go take Castley Rock. Where are you, you son of a bitch? In Forrock. Okay, yep, he's definitely he's up there with that army. Okay, we're going to take Castley Rock. We just have enough men to take it. Thank God. I still have enough money actually to pay back my uh, my loan. If things get bad, I could use that loan money which I should pay back. I could use it to assassinate Tyrek Lannister. But I don't want to spend that money if I don't have to. But I probably will have to. Ah, what the hell's this? A man stumbles in from the cold, his eyes wild. He claims to have seen dead men walking. Okay, I've never seen I've never seen this one before. Dead men walking? Ridiculous. Give this man more mead. Dead men have not worked this um, have not walked for thousands of years. Double the guard and distribute torches. I'll have no dead men disturbing. Okay. Give me the man more mead. Minus at least twenty percent prestige. Gain one learning. Okay. Lose forty prestige. Gain the trait power. Knowledge. What do I gain from that? Really? <laughs> I don't really gain anything from that. What sort of guy am I? I'm a lunatic. Cynical. I'm cynical now. Mm, yeah. Stubborn. Cynical and stubborn. But I'm a lunatic. Yeah, give this ridiculous. Give this man more mead, yeah. I was going to go with the bottom one because he's a lunatic. And I thought, you know, he's cynical. Um... And he's stubborn. But if he's a lunatic, he'll still be like, give him more mead. <laughs> that would help him. Even though it probably wouldn't. Okay. It's going to take a while to take Cassidy Rock, but if we do, it should give us a big percentage. Lady Krenner for the Westerlands. God damn these Lannisters. Disappearing everywhere like flies. We should uh, join the Legion Lawless faction. There we go. I'm already in it. Thank God. Oh, yeah. He's, okay, the Marbrands are part of that. Okay, that's quite good. Crown Lawless. Ah, new Lord Commander. The Lannister on the wall died. God, again, the Lannisters are everywhere. Everywhere I look, it's just Lannisters. Let's go have a look to see who's on the wall. Who's the new Lord Commander? Ah, Lord Commander Merritt of the Night's Watch. He's a Mouton, a Riverlander. Okay. Good good general, though. Okay. Who's your heir? Samuel of Hallfrost Hill. Okay. Down here. Yes. Okay. Okay, looks like the Westerns managed to defeat that army there. That's good. Had some armies appear here. 4,000 men. Awesome, okay. Looks like we might actually get the support we need. Thank God. We might actually be able to defeat them. I thought I was going to have to give up to at least one of these rebels, but... It looks like we're starting to gain more men. What are the Reachmen doing? 
Ah. Okay. So the Reach is helping us. Awesome. Okay, well that's turned everything around. Wow. How did we gain an ally from them? Uh, Dear Lord Reynold of Castamere, I hope I invite you to the wedding of Lord Corlys Tyrell and Melissa Rain in High Garden. I guess we'll have to go. Awesome. So we've actually married into the Tyrells, and that's what I call a... Uh, that's what I call going higher. My granddaughter, Melissa Rain. She will be married to the Tyrells. It's a good marriage. We've got two sons. We haven't got to worry about the inheritance, so it's not too bad she's married normally. And it is a Tyrell. And he is the heir to the Reach. So actually, that's a very good marriage. Okay. An ally with the Reach. The most powerful family. The most powerful um, part. Well, the most powerful kingdom, probably, in the Seven Kingdoms. So, I'll travel to the wedding. I'll take time off for my war. Now we have them on our side. I can't see us losing. Because a lot of their allies from the Lannisters are from the Reach. So hopefully they'll be able to destroy them before they get to us. Very good, very good. 7,000 men. Okay, we can, we can win this. And there you go, here they come, helping us. Lord Paramount Leo III greeted us warmly to the wedding. Dornish wine was served, and the most lovely music was played throughout the whole night. The ceremony between Lord... Um, what's his name? Corliss? And Melissa? And the grand feast shall be held upon the morrow. Thank you for having us, Tyrell. It is great to be part of this great family. Now Melissa Rain and Corliss Tyrell stand before the warrior to take up a holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of the Reach look on as he drapes the arms of House Tyrell around the bride to finally seal their marriage. And now for the feast. Everyone's favourite part. Ah. Okay, good, good, good. I should probably check out my counts at the end of this war. Ah. And how are things going for you, Mr. Alton? You have a daughter. Very nice. Sarah, Sarah Rain, and she has your huge trait. <laughs> the feast is winding down, and now only the bedding remains. Corliss and Melissa are stripped of all garments by the revelers, who make many a bold joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber, or they are finally left alone. A fine tradition. How old is he, anyway? 21. Eh, that's not too bad. Oh, there we go. He's got a picture now. I should probably pay back my loan, but I'm going to wait until the end of the war just because I need that money. Time to begin the long way home. Okay. Well, this feels good. It looks as though killing the Lady Paramount was actually probably the best idea I could have done. We've now married in the Tyrells. Um, it brought back our allies because when I killed the crack whole girl. That's great. This um, I really thought we were screwed, actually. I can't believe I pulled this out of the bag. Well, I mean, it's not over yet, but... We're going to take Castle Rock. We're going to take your family. How do you feel about that, Sebastian? We're going to take all his family. <laughs> ah, good. I've still got a young kid. Leonette. Oh yeah, she's oh yeah, she betrothed to uh, the Bolton, who is actually the heir, if I remember correctly. Good, good, good. Did some good marriages there actually in the past. We did some okay marriages: the Reed girl, the Crack Call, the Sweet Sister. I mean, particularly Alton and Rupert, because they're such small members of the family. Okay, he's now chosen by Roller, and look at that: twenty-seven thousand men from the Reach. Completely destroying the Lannister armies. Ah, winter's coming to an end. No more talk of dead men walking. My lord, their leader is not here. We will ask their family along with us then? Yes, we will. We must take the whole family. I mean, he is insane. Okay, so we've got a load of Lannisters now. Good, good. And it's now made the percentage in our favour. Okay. And now we have it 24%. Wow, okay. And look at that. Another army down there. Even though they can't win, so we're going to try and help relieve them. Okay. 
Ooh, 70, 79%. Makes sense. I mean, we got his prisoners, so only my lord can leave. Um, only my grandson can use them, obviously. Okay, better leave that army. Ah, and there we go. A letter has arrived from the Holy Father. He demands that we release Lauren from our prison and submit to the will of God. Ah. I bend my knee before the seven. Well, I am seven. But yes. I am Lord. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, I really want to click that. Oh my god. I am Lord. That would be great. Oh my god. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that. Oh shit, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm dead anyway. But I didn't mean to click that. I was meant to click the other one. I was just going to click on it and see what it said. I'm about to click. That was dumb of me, but we died a natural death. Do you know what's even better? I said I wanted the Westerlands in his lifetime. And we literally took it and we beat the last guy. And then he dies. <sighs> and now with him out of the family, we should his son should be able to secure his uh, domains. And get much more of his lieges, arm, um, not his lieges, his vassals' armies, so we can defend our son. Our son is lord of the realm. Okay. Let me get rid of all this. And someone was telling me actually you can get rid of them all by doing something. Oh, was it? I forgot what he said to do. Oh well, I think it was um control and do it. Why can't I can't be bothered. Let's look at our new guy. Okay. We are Lord Benedict of Castamere. I've married again. Lady Leah of Castamere. A Yelshire. She's a Reachman. Looks like we're carrying on this uh, alliance with the Reach. Probably a good idea, in all honesty. Probably a good idea. Ooh, wow. 486. Okay. Wow. We got... Oh, okay, it's probably because they're annoyed because... We had that army out. But then again, it shouldn't affect me. It should be about my father. What was wrong with my vassals? Rebel leader. Oh, dynastic stain. Damn it. Okay. Important assassins. Okay, yep. Causing others to fear and mistrust them. Okay, hopefully that will go away with me. And obviously when we die, we'll actually be lords of the Westlands. So that's great. So until then, our son will be lord. We'll protect him no matter what. I've lost all my vassal's men. But I can have 11,000 of my own. Once that's cleared up. But yeah, let's see what kind of guy he is. He's a good general. Um, he's arbitrary. He's a bit shy. He's uh, ambitious, deceitful, um, zealous, and a falconer. And we have our sword justice, of course. And let's go have a look at my prisoners. Actually, in a second. 